Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Alexis Clemens. Got to start your Sunday with a nice sunrise looking over the Capitol there from UW Madison. Maybe have that cup of coffee though inside. It's still a little cool out there as our wind chill advisory does not expire until 9 a.m. Current temperatures zero in Madison, negative 11 in Lone Rock. We're at negative six in Janesville and Mineral Point. Those feels like temperatures, wind chills there all the way down to negative 20 in Mineral Point, negative 23 there in Monroe, negative 14 in Juneau, negative 13 in Madison. Like I said, that wind chill expires at 9 a.m. The, the advisory rather, and uh, we, I don't think we see one of those again for a while. We are seeing we're waking up to that sunshine. However, if we zoom out, more clouds are going to make their way in. We're tracking our next weather system. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it because this one is a little tricky out there as we warm to near that freezing mark. All different types of precipitation will come into play. So today it becomes breezy, a little bit cloudier later on in the day and then late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Don't be surprised if you wake up to uh, some little uh, little ice pellets, little flurries falling, but I don't really expect impacts with that. But that's something that you might see early tomorrow. Then the rest of Monday is dry. It's Monday night and into Tuesday where I think we could see some minimal impacts uh, with this system here as it really starts as freezing rain. Then we could see some snow. No, then into rain. I'm telling you, all four types of precipitation are in play here. It's going to be a tricky forecast uh, to nail, but we are going to try our best, of course. And then a wintry mix into Tuesday night. Then we dry out. There is going to be plenty of dry time, but late Wednesday, the second wave of this system comes. But by then, I think we'll just see some rain. So for snow totals here, I think that's going to be the biggest uh, precipitation that uh, type that we see. Monday and into Tuesday, one to three inches of snow possible there. For ice, though, that's still a very big possibility, especially because those ground temperatures are below freezing, most definitely. They're not going to be able to warm above that by the time this system comes in. So for Madison, Janesville, kind of areas along I-94 and south, there is a chance for a glaze of ice. I think that's going to be Monday night for that. But for a bigger ice system here, take a look at this. Uh, actually, a, a potential ice storm on the way for parts of the Midwest. However, I think that that will stay to ourselves. So stick with us as we nail down that forecast for you. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Like I said, transitions to rain late Wednesday into Thursday and Friday. We dry out by next weekend.